What's up everyone, Spark here, 13 new glitches for Super Mario Maker 2, let's get moving. Glitch number one, using these two seesaws, we are going to walk this muncher up into the spike until it eventually kills him. Let's speed this up. As you see, Muncher crushes the spike and eventually gives us the key that we Glitch want. number two, this beetle is going to fall into this little gap right here and get stuck. When we hit that note block, it's actually going to clip the wall to the right and get through that Part little two of this little glitch, we can actually shoot a beetle up and get stuck in there like that using this note block like we did with other ones. If we shoot up into this gap right here, it'll actually just walk right through the pals and won't get Glitch stuck number out. three, using the setup right here, we can get spike balls stuck in place as they roll again. As you see, there's an animation when you jump on the bounce, and when you jump on this bounce, there is no animation. You just kind of bounce up like that. Glitch number four, all of these piranhas are going to clip to the top, which is pretty cool. The cannon is gonna push them off the edge, and what's even cooler is the flamethrower that they create when they start shooting at you. Yikes. Glitch number five, we return to this Bowser Jr. stun lock situation, but it won't actually stun lock us. It will hit us and we'll be able to jump out of it because there's a little bit of a gap. However, you'll see the top Bowser is doing nothing. He looks up when we're up there. He looks down when we're not. We can activate this on off switch like this and he will just fly right off the map and die. And little Bowser Jr. is still doing nothing. Loafing on the job. Glitch number six, when we come out of this door, we can actually do a midair jump off of Bowser. Check this out. As you see, we just jump as soon as we get leave the door, and we'll actually do a midair jump. Glitch number seven, we can actually enter this door before we get damaged. As you see right here, this is a clear condition thing. It's kind of like a trump jump. It's a one pixel gap. It makes it a lot easier if you place a little block here, and then I just swim over to the door and press up. But he lands on the spike, goes through the door without getting caught. Glitch harmed. number eight. This is a little bit of a troll setup because you won't actually be able to get into this pipe. However, I'm more interested in how this thwomp, as it moves to the left, is going to clip you down through the bumper like that. Glitch number nine. If you jump, you lose the don't leave the ground clear condition. However, these are three blocks in which you can actually jump and hit activate without losing that condition. The last one you have to jump to get out Glitch of Glitch number 10, these are two more hyperspeed setups that will give you a big booty blasting with the Wigglers. As you see, we're getting closer and closer to figuring out how to big booty blast the Wigglers out. And right now they're dancing like they're up in the Glitch pile. number 11, we can use this setup right here to clip us right through the ceiling blocks. And jump Glitch up. number 12, if we go in this door, this piranha at the top of the goalpost will kill However, us. However, if we are holding jump, we'll actually be able to hit the top of the flag before the piranha gets us. So all you have to do is Glitch number 13, in co-op mode, if you're going into the pipe when you come out, if you hit a power up, the player two will clip above you a little bit before he actually gets put in scene. Yeah. Thanks again for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.